So there is a feud in the world of athletics beating the world record order, uh, Kevin Kiptum, who set a new world record in Chicago, setting aside Eliud Kipchoge's world uh, record that was set in 2022 in Berlin. So the online space has been awash with the news that uh, the greatest of all time uh, marathoner, Eliud Kipchoge, has failed or delayed in congratulating Kevin Kiptum of Kenya for setting aside his world record in marathon. The netizens have been pressurizing Eliud Kipchoge to recognize and congratulate Kevin Kiptum for setting aside his own world record in marathon. Eliud Kipchoge has not come out to say anything about the new world record. So Eliud Kipchoge has therefore, so Eliud Kipchoge has been tried and convicted in the court of public opinion for failing to honor and recognize the new world record set by Kevin Kiptum. So, uh, Kevin Kiptum on his side has picked up the judgment from the court of public opinion and has commented that going into 2024 Pahi Olympics, if allowed by AK to compete, he will compete against Eliud Kipchoge. So it will be the world record order, Kevin Kiptum versus the greatest of all time Maradona in the world. Eliud Kipchoge going for gold for Kenya. So the, the netizens once again are up against Kiptum. That is it fair for the young star to go against Eliud Kipchoge? Two countrymen going against each other in Pahi 2024 Olympics. First of all, Eliud Kipchoge has announced that he is going for history. He is, he is going for the third marathon Olympic gold medal. And that will be the first ever, he will be the first ever man to do that in Olympics. Kiptum has decided that if you are not going to honor my world record, if you are not going to recognize me as the greatest of the moment, I will also go against you. So going by the current form, uh, a lot of scenarios are expected in Pahi 2024. So if the two are allowed to participate, if the two are given the chance to compete in Pahi 2024, there are four scenarios that you should expect. First of all, Kenya has already, Kenya already has a gold medal in marathon. So if the two will go against each other and go well and maintain the current form, Kenya will, will have an advantage of having a gold medal already even before the start of that Olympics. Second, um, if the goat feels that Kiptum is a great threat, he might withdraw from the race and let him, uh, the young star, win. Third, uh, by chasing each other, the two might set up a 159 they might run a sub two, a sub two hours. So the first man to run sub two zero one is Kiptum. The first man to run sub two hours moderated run is Kipchoge. If they go against each other and go throttle for, on each other, we are likely to set a new world record. And the new world record might go below two. It, must, it might be a sub two. Four, Kiptum is in very good shape. If he maintains that shape, he is likely to beat the greatest of all times. Uh, fifth, Kipchoge might become what he is already. Might just go and get uh, to verify himself that he is the greatest of all time. So it is either Kiptum takes it, or Kipchoge takes it, or a new world record, or a sub two, or it's a clean swift for Kenya. Position one, two, and probably even three, and going into four. So we expect a very stiff competition if that is to happen. The race will set very high standards. And Kiptum being young and energetic, being that go-getter, the first man to go through sub-202 three times in one year, that is a great man to watch. Kipchoge is, yes, the outgoing greatest of all times. Kiptum is the incoming greatest of all time. But now there is a convergence of talent as we usher in the new man as the old man sets the records that this man will be running after and going into the future. So additionally, there have been complaints here and there that uh, Kevin Kiptum was not accorded the heroic welcome that other people are giving when they break world record. The government has given him his, two, his five million for setting a world record that is given to everybody who sets a world record. But when he landed in Kenya, Kiptum did not receive the heroic welcome that uh, other athletes receive. The ever-present CS for sports above was nowhere to be seen. The CES was nowhere to be seen. Nobody was there except his own immediate family. And this has not gone well with the netizens.
The netizens have been asking questions why this kind of crude welcome to the world record order, the newest world record order in the history of uh, humanity at the moment. So why did he receive that heroic welcome that is according to other heroes when they land in Kenya? So uh, a lot is going on in Kenya, uh, especially with the new world record set by Kevin Kiptum. All in all, we wish you well, Kevin Kiptum.